My album, Good Person, started uh, at the beginning of the pandemic because I had a lot of time to think and be introspective and question what it meant to be a good person or am I in a good relationship? And it made me realize a lot of difficult things that I hadn't been dealing with. And so the whole record started in a darker place and ended up in a brighter place. And so this album is about the transition from dark to light. Writing Good Person was really interesting because I felt like I had just read about something where somebody got canceled or was being judged poorly. And it made me think like, well, we all use the term good person all the time in conversations, and yet we don't actually have a definition for what that entirely means. And so we're operating off of something that we can't even define ourselves. So good person is more just questioning you know, what that even means anymore. Yearbook was inspired by just observing other relationships, you know, a little bit from my parents, but a lot from just cultures around the world to where people stay together because divorce is such taboo and it's viewed as like a bad sin. And yet these people are staying together and are miserable together. And it made me kind of wonder like why people do that and what the stigma is behind the fact that not everybody who gets married should, and I know that's controversial, but yearbook is just me questioning all of that. I love the twist of seeing someone else because everyone always assumes it's like a cheating song, but actually it's that point in a relationship where you feel like you're growing and the other person is not, and they are only seeing you as the person you were before when you're not that person anymore. and. It's time to leave. Talk actually started as a potential DJ song that I wrote and then quickly realized it was not a DJ song and it was actually just a really pretty kind of vibey, you know, moment to talk about that frustration of when your relationship with somebody is not working, even though you're working on it constantly. It's just all talk and no action. How Honest Do You Want Me To Be is sort of like my playful moment because I feel like a lot of the times when people ask for your honest opinion, they don't actually want to know what it is. They want you to just say what you, they want to hear, you know? In this song, I kind of was writing about a specific moment in my life where this person was like asking me these deep questions and I'm like, I don't think you want to know the answer to these questions, to be honest. So how honest do you want me to be? No Choice was a really tough song for me to write. Uh, and I get clearly very emotional in the bridge because it is just really, no matter how mean the person is to you or how much it's not working, you still care about them. And so leaving them and realizing that you have to let go is a really difficult thing to do. And I feel like most of the time people just jump to the, I'm happier without you vibe. And it's like, well, there is an in-between period that you have to work through. And I feel like I had to work through that in this song. I wrote Pain as a pump up song for myself uh, because I was about to uh, end a relationship with somebody and I knew it was gonna be really painful after I did it, but I also knew it was the right thing to do. And I think most of the times the right thing is not always the easiest thing. So I was sort of like, all right, well, I'm the only one who's really gonna get myself through this. So let's just do it. And I know that a lot of people are going through terrible things right now. So it's really more of a pump up song for everyone. Feel Like This was written after meeting a lovely, wonderful human being. It's basically capturing the feeling of falling in love with somebody and sort of those, those first moments of like realizing that it's actually love and not just some kind of fling. And there's something about this song that's so special because it was the first time I got to write with Julia Michaels, who I have been such a huge fan of for such a long time. So I also associate that song with meeting her and really hitting it off. And now we're, we're great friends. I wrote Blue with the same people that I wrote Ladylike with, but I added Shane McAnally. And I'm so glad I did because it was the first time we wrote together and it turned out to be the most, one of the more beautiful songs on the album, in my opinion. The day we wrote it, we were talking about kids who are colorblind, you know, being able to see colors for the first time and it sort of evolved and it became this love song about 
you know, sometimes the most beautiful things we have are the easiest to take for granted. And I think love is the same as that. Falling For You was really fun to write. Uh, I actually had my band in mind when I wrote this because anytime we play shows, most of my songs are sad. But this record, I tried to make it better so they would have fun playing these songs. And so Falling For You is just a very anthemic love song with a bunch of drum hits that I love. It's like very like throwback, like 80s-ish, I think, but is a super fun one to sing. All the Love uh, was really fun to co-produce. It is about worrying that, you know, based on all your backgrounds, you don't have enough love to give, but you're like, this is all I got and I hope it's enough. And a lot of the production was inspired by a lot of Coldplay records that I love. And yeah, it was really fun to get weird with the sonics. And I feel like it's something you wouldn't expect from a song called All The Love. Things That Haven't Happened Yet is sort of like a peek into my brain. I didn't realize how much anxiety I had about the future and things until I started hearing people openly talk about their anxiety. And I sort of wrote this song to remind myself and others that a lot of the stuff we worry about hasn't even happened yet, so why are we so worried about it before we even know what's gonna go on? So I liked ending the album with that because it leaves everything open-ended and ready for the next adventure.